Good evening. I'm Ken Shockman again this evening for Paul Majors. And I'm Pat Harvey. The identity of the murder suspect is a mystery. Investigators believe he acted alone. The first victim was killed at a home on Delphinium Avenue yesterday. The suspect then drove to a gas station on Sunny Mead Ranch Parkway, where a second victim was killed. Of course, we're talking about that uh, shooting in Moreno Valley yesterday. Later, a deputy was injured on Pigeon Pass Road. CBS 2 Inland Empire reporter Tom Waite is live in Moreno Valley. Tom. And Pat, today police are saying the lone suspect in this case is dead. Meanwhile, just behind me is one of the homes that was involved in this whole crime spree yesterday, one of the crime scenes, and the family there says they are going to come out tonight and speak. Meanwhile, police are giving us more information about what happened. Police now believe it was here where the first killing took place during yesterday's dramatic crime spree. Officers say a man was murdered in a home on Delphinium. The suspect then left this location, they say, and came to this gas station about two miles away, where he sprayed an SUV with bullets, killing Wilma Patterson, who was inside. A short time later, the suspect would shoot at police. These are three separate crime scenes that had to be investigated as individual crimes, and ultimately, it appears that they're related. Family of Patterson say she was related to the man killed on Delphinium, but the suspect's connection to the family remains unclear. Police will not say if he was a relative. I do not have any idea who he is. They haven't shared that information with me. It is an ongoing investigation. After the gas station shooting, the suspect was tracked down using Moreno Valley's camera system. They found his vehicle abandoned nearby. When backup was called in, they found the suspect. Police say gunfire was exchanged and a deputy was injured. He was hit by some sort of fragment. I don't know what the fragments are. The suspect's body was found around 2 this morning in an area of heavy brush near a home the SWAT team had surrounded for hours. An assault rifle was also recovered. And police right now are not saying if the suspect died of a self-inflicted gunshot wound or if someone else, possibly a police officer, killed him. That information, again, not being released yet. Reporting live in Moreno Valley, I'm Tom Waite, CBS 2 News.